Live from the Xavier Mansion, it's the Insane Board Game Freak Show with your host, Media Insane Board Game Freak. Yo, come on, it's Gory Barty. <laughs> Exclusive limited edition X Men comic book offer, which I can't no longer get anymore because it's an old game. And somebody already had this game before me. Features 18 collectible X-Men figures. Alright, cool. In this episode... The Uncanny X-Men Alert Adventure Game. The board game. Quick, to the board game room. All right, here we go. It's the X Men board game, the alert board game. Awesome miniatures here in the showcase. Uh, the other game's gonna get a showcase of miniatures like this too. And um, that's going to be X-Men Under Siege game, the board game. And um, you're going to get um, different characters, though. The, the next game isn't going to have Professor X, though. So some characters might not be in the game. Some new ones might be in the game. But let's just go over this game. Okay. All right. So in this game, you're going to get this game board here. All right. And uh, you're going to get these cards. You get to pick out. Who you want to be. These are your power your X-Men power stack cards, okay? The character cards. And they're gonna tell you all the attributes and stuff, fighting skill, durability, intelligence, total power, mental bolt, hero. Alright, and they show a picture, and they're gonna show you how many X's you get symbols on these things. So you also get Shadow Cat, you'll get you know Cyclops, Psylocke. Alright, you got long shot, he's cool. I like him. Um you're going to get Rogue. All right. You get Rogue. <laughs> and then you're going to get Archangel. All right. You get Jubilee. All right. She's cool. You know, uh, Iceman. Gambit. Wolverine. All right. You get Havoc. Banshee. Colossus. Nightcrawler, all right, he's cool too. Beast, Cable, and Storm, all right. So anyway, so real cool characters in the game that you get, and uh, that's basically it. So, um, those are the character cards, and. Uh, Everything that, that's on those cards I just showed you. Alright? Alright, so now you're going to get also X-Men alert cards. Okay? And these cards you're going to be using in this game. Um, I think I'm missing a couple. But the game's still playable. It's okay. So, um, you know, recruit um, another X-Men. Another X-Man. You get a... Uh, Badoon! <laughs> Badoon! Cool. Anyway, uh, you're going to get... Um, different characters so this is like you know the, the x-men alert now um you get strength and um like for example impossible man strength 13 experience 4 so that that's like for that all right uh you're gonna also be getting characters like hydra um fire lord you know um Alien Brood. Alright, cool. So, you know, Magneto is going to be in there too. Magneto, whatever. So all other characters, good guy and bad guys. Alright, whatever. Now, um, they're all evil mutants though. So that's why they're the evil mutant alert cards. Alright, so I'll tell you about those. You're going to get these cards here. Training and luck cards. Alright, so... You'll have like different event cards like training and luck, danger room, malfunction, all team members at headquarters receive one hit. All right, play at once. All right, so that that's Professor X. All right, well, it's not Mr. Clean, that's for sure. You 
you know, you'll get like Wolverine training a luck card, practice, practice, practice. Use this card when turning an evil mutants to the authorities and gain four bonus experience dice. Hold until needed. Okay, so that's cool. Now, um, you know, stuff like that. So, you, you know, different stuff. So those are kind of like event cards. You're going to get your player marker tokens here to move around the board. Um, mine got scrambled up. I don't know how, but, um, it, it was most likely owned, you know, before me. So, um, I got, I ordered this online and, uh, you get gray and purple, but, you know, you get two gray stickers. I don't know why. Yellow and then blue. And then this one's empty with no labels on it. So I'm, I'll fix that up. It's an easy fix. Um, I know what to do. I'm creative like that. And I can, you know, it's, um, I can improvise like that. So, you're going to have your player marker tokens here. These are your stands for your characters. So, you know what color that you are in accordance to the game. Um, so, you're going to slide those miniatures I showed you. All right. So, now, these miniatures, you know, the bottoms. You know, like, let's say, for example, Rogue here. All right. She's going to, you know, you're going you're gonna to slide this on the bottom of the base of the, of the miniature. All right, for each miniatures, you know, Wolverine, you know, uh, whoever. Professor X already has a stand, but I think you can already, you can, you guys stand him up too on the one of these. So you're going to get the four colors of these. It's a four player game, two to four player game. You're going to get um, these dice here. All right, so now the, the dice, all right, the dice is going to be cool. Now, uh, you know, X Men 1. Uh, X Marvel Two, Evil Mutant One, yeah, you know, and then the other spots are blank. Okay, so I'll figure out, I'll tell you how to use those now in the game. All right, all right. So now here's your hit points, your hit marker tokens. All right, and that's basically it. That's the game. Now um, I'll show you how to play it and I'll give you inst proper instructions. All right, here we go. It's X Men, the Uncanny X Men Alert. Adventure game, the board game, and this is a pretty cool game. Uh, you got different battle zones: battle zone one, two, and three. Okay, and then you're gonna get your gold team leader, gold team deployment. All right, these spaces here. This game looks confusing. It to me it is a little bit, but I figured out how to play it. But um, just to make things clear, more clear and understandable, I'm just gonna give you the instructions from what I you know understood, and so on. You know. So, you know, from the game. Now, start, all right, experience track, all right? You're going to go up and get experience and different things to victory, all right? So, sometimes you got to step in here, too, and move your other markers around for um, battling in the zones here, all right? So, um, now you're going to put your training cards over here, all right? And uh, you're going to put your X-Men cards over here, so... And that, that's basically it, all right? So now, um, the object of the game is to be the first player to guide your mover around the experience track and reach the, the victory space. To move around the track, your team of X-Men will race other teams to capture evil mutants in three different battle zones, okay? So, uh, there's basic and advanced games. So, uh, you know, throughout the booklet, you know, it's like that when, when you go over it with yourself, uh, you'll see sections marked with an X logo, an X-Man logo. And this symbol means that the section of the instructions should be used only when playing the advanced game. So if you're playing the basic game, ignore all those other sections that you read off of, okay? I'm not going to go over the advanced game. I don't have enough batteries in my camera right now. So I got to charge it. And plus, um, you know, uh, I, 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 I just want to get through this. I'm going to probably have to go through like another video of this same game, so... Uh, sorry about that, but stay tuned. Everything's okay. Uh, you can just um, watch the next videos about this game in, in case you're interested, okay? Now, um, the figure showcase, you'll have a figure showcase. The X-Men Power Stack cards I showed you before, all right? So the, these cards here are going to be um, each X-Men Power Stack card pictures an X-Men character and a list of characters' power stats. Uh, fighting skill, intelligence, durability, and extra abilities. Now, the character's fighting skill number shows how many dice that the X-Men um, can roll when battling evil mutants. So, um, like, uh, for Wolverine, 
you know, at the left, you know, it, it's going to be um, like six for his fighting skill and so and so forth. Now, uh, the number shows how many hits and a character can sustain before they have to, you know, go back to the headquarters to recover. Okay, so when you're going on a board battling, you'll be getting hit. It's so this is like, it's almost like fighting style in a way in a dungeon crawl game. Okay, to me, actually, it is. So, um, now, uh, the, the five X symbol circles on the right, you know, uh, you know, on, on the side of the card here, you'll know, see like that she has three, Wolverine has five, and, uh, those circles on the, uh, on the right of the card are going to show you that, um, that character is able to take five hits from evil mutants. And the durability number is also the number of dice the character rolls while recovering at headquarters. Okay, so that's it with that. Now, um, the booklet that I got for this game uh, is, is you know, straight up to the point. It, it, it tells you everything you need to know about playing this game. Uh, training and luck cards are gained when an experienced mover lands on a training and luck space. Okay, around the board here. Training and luck. All right. And uh, that space, uh, you know, um, on the experience track, okay? So this is the experience track around the border of the, of the three rooms here and the uh, teams, all right? So now um, the cards are a mix of very good luck, extra abilities, and very bad luck. Some cards may be placed at once while others may be um, held on to until the player wants to use them, okay? So uh, the dice now are... Uh, determines the outcome of many characters actions and each die has two x-men sides one marvel side and one evil mutant side and two blank sides okay so the maximum number of dice you can roll at one time is nine and any number over nine while fighting or performing another action is discarded is disregarded excuse me um even the marvelous x-men are only so great so um the, you're gonna get 40 hit chips in the game too the hit chips are used to show that um, your X-Men characters have taken a hit during battle, okay? So, for setup, each player takes a team experience mover, all right? And, um, places it at the start of the experience track, okay? So, you're all gonna start here, like that, and you're gonna start here, all right? And you're gonna move around the board, the experience track. Okay, so now, um, uh... Mix the X-Men power stack cards and deal one card out to each player. So each player, you, you could pick up, you know, but randomly pick out which character you're going to be. And um, uh, you're going to deal one card and you know, each player puts the power stack card face up in front of them. That's the character that they're going to be playing as. And this forms your headquarters. Okay. So the remaining cards are placed face down near the game board on these spices here. All right. So now... Uh, if all players agree, each player may look through the power cards to take the X-Men out of their choice, okay? Um, in an advanced game, um, I just want to go over the base game, but in an advanced game, you're going to deal two X-Men power stack cards to each player, or each player may choose the X-Men that they want to be, the, the two of them. So going first, each player rolls five dice, and the highest total goes first. So X-Men equals one point, Marvel equals two points, Evil Mutants and Blanks don't count, okay? So uh, following is, a, uh, I want to say right now, is going to be a, a brief explanation of the six steps that a player's turn would have. And each step is explained in detail um, later on in instructions that I'll give you. So remember, if I run out of tape, just stay tuned to the next episode, watch the next episode. It's a great game. I guarantee it. X-Men fans will love this. You know, or X-Men fans already have this game and love it, so, and they play it a lot. So, if, if you're interested too, continue to watch, it's, right? It's a, it's a cool show, cool game. So, um, now, step one, you're going to review the three battle zones, okay? And uh, if a battle zone is empty, you're going to draw the top X-Men alert card, okay? And uh, place a face up on the large X in the battle zone. All right, so you grab one of these, and you're going to have battle zone number two. So you put them down. It's arcade, okay? Oh, cool. I remember that guy. So, you know, strength is six, experience is two, all right? So now you're going to fight arcade, and then um, 
uh, you're going to um, decide which evil mutant your X-Men character will battle and place its figure in the deployment area of that battle zone. So your figure is going to go in the deployment area. All right. So gold team deployment. All right. I'm um, gold. And then uh, you got that right, baby. <laughs> you have a purple team deployment. All right. You'll have a gray team deployment and, you know, silver. And then you'll have a blue one. But the blue is on the, uh, you know, side of of this sticker here, this player marker here. So you can also be blue. But whatever, I'll figure something out and fix that up. So now, um, uh, you're, uh, you're going to do that. Now, if your character is, is at headquarters... You may start a new battle. If your character is already in the battle zone, you must continue to battle that evil mutant. All right. So um, that's step two. Now step three is also in the advanced um, way of playing. If there is an X Men recruit card in the battle zone, you may choose to recruit. All right. So four is recover and help your X Men characters recover at headquarters by rolling the dice. And removing hit chips. Okay. So you're going to roll a dice and remove hit chips. And stuff like that. Alright. So. Um, now. Note that your character can only do one of these two actions. Battle or recover in a turn. You can't do both at the same time. Alright. It's not allowed. Now step five. Your turn. Uh, your team member in turn is going to capture evil mutants. And mover. Uh, is it advanced on the experience headquarters. Uh, uh, experience track. So every single time that you beat the crap out of uh, one of your one of the evil mutants, you're gonna have to move up the experience. You know, move up your token. Okay. So in this case, every single time you win, you get to land on here or here. All right. And then you, if you land on these things, train lock spaces to a card. You will recruit. You're gonna you will recruit. Uh, X Men recruit. You're gonna recruit another X Men character. Okay. So um. Your team turns and capture evil mutants and your movers advance one experience track move um spot in the track. Now um once you've completed your turn, your play continues to the left. Alright? And that's that so far. Now um You're gonna have You're gonna have um setting up a battle zone, okay? Before you start your turn, you gotta check to see if any of the battle zones are empty, and if they are, you're gonna draw a top card and put it there like so. So this one's empty. Let's say you're in battle two. Now I gotta fight Silver Samurai. All right, cool. So now, um, Silver Samurai. Now, okay. If there, if there are any, you're gonna draw a top X Men alert card and place it face up in the center of the board like I just did. And you do the same for all empty battle zones. So the next battle zone would be. Um, Nagarai demons, or um, you're gonna face um, the Blob, or maybe uh, even Moses Magnum. All right, I want to try to find. Oh, Omega Red, he's a good one. Cool. So, and he's strength of sixteen. Wow. Oof. And six. Oh, Mac Randy. So now you're gonna have. Uh, now we're getting to the big boys here. Okay, you have another one to place down, Juggernaut. All right, Wendigo, Wendigo, oh, oh wow, cool, Dr. Doom you're going to get in this game, wow, and uh, a lot of other cool areas, Magneto, Magneto, whatever, all right, and then, all right, so anyway, I'm overexcited about all the villains to fight, all right, so now the game's all messed up, all right, so I'm back to normal with this game, now, um, you're going to get these, these, um, Notorious supervillains of all time. Okay, and then um, you're gonna don't clap for them. They're the bad guys. The villains. Jeez. Okay, so when an evil mutant X Men alert card is, is drawn, the strength indicator is placed on the number space on the strength track that corresponds with the evil mutant strength. So you're gonna get one of these things, and. Uh, my my other game is uh missing two, so I just use from these and then I just you know add it to that game. But you, I think you gotta cap them on so they put them on top. But we'll see about that in a little bit. 
So now the strength indicator stays on the track until an X-Men reaches or passes the indicator. And that evil mutant is then captured, okay? So when an X-Men alert card is drawn that reads Recruit Next X-Men, you're going to turn over the top X-Men power card stack card, all right? And that's if you draw one of these kind of cards, okay? Re uh, recruit another X-Man. So then you're going to draw one of these, and then you're recruiting another X-Man. So now the indicator is placed in a number space that corresponds to that X-Man character's total power number. So place the X-Men figure on the center X of the battle zone, okay? And then um, what you're going to do is this now. Uh, the strength indicator stays on this space until the X-Men is recruited. Okay, so note that if all players have already have their maximum number of four X-Men characters on their teams, you place the recruit card to the side and draw another card. So when all the X-Men alert cards have been played, shuffle the cards already turned and place them face down in the space marked on the board. Okay? So, um... Now, step two is fighting battles. If you have one or more characters at headquarters and they have fewer hits than their durability number, they can move to a battle zone deployment area, okay? So now, um, uh, on, on, your, on your team, once your team has started a battle, you cannot remove characters from the battle zone, all right? So um, they must either stay and fight until the evil mutant is captured or until the character receives too many hits, and is forced to retreat to go back to headquarters. And your headquarters, don't forget, is going to be your character card, okay? That's your headquarters. So, um, characters starting a new battle. So once your characters are deployed in the battle zone, one member is selected to lead the team. So place the leader's figure on a leader space, okay? And then what you're going to do now is um, the leader will then move and track the progress of the entire team as they uh, battle the evil mutants. All right. So um, once a team leader starts moving on the battle zone strength track, he, uh, they must they, they will act as the team leader until the evil mutants has captured or you know is captured or the leader receives too many hits and is forced to go back to the headquarters, which is going to be a stat card. Okay. Um, the the team leader is always the first character to battle. So review the character's fighting skill number, and then the fighting skill number is equal. To the number of dice that your character is going to roll in battle. Okay, so for example, a character with a fighting skill of three will, is only going to roll um, three dice, all right? And that's that. So they got Marvel 1, uh, X Men 1, X Men 1, and a, and a blank spot. So now some characters' extra abilities um, give them additional fighting dice or give the character the ability to help the, uh, other teammates in battle. So most characters only get to use um these extra abilities when they're you know they're they are the team leader so refer you know um to the extra characters uh, uh, extra abilities before battle okay so i'm thinking like when you're playing and you want to get extra help you get, you get extra help from another x-man or another extra help from a marvel character which is in the uh, collection that i have up above all right so, in that box uh, set area. Alright? So, that's that with that. Now, um, characters joining a battle already in progress. Only characters with the extra ability of flight can fly from headquarters to a battle zone. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, deployment area. And join a team already fighting in the, in the zone. So, it, it may take some time to effectively learn that, when, how to play... Uh, you're fighting your flying characters like Archangel or something like that. Um, you know, but once you, you've uh, have this extra ability mastered, um, you have the powerful tactic to be able to play in this game. It's cool. So the battle, you're going to roll the characters fighting dice that they need to roll and total the points. For each X-Men roll, score one point. For each Marvel roll, you score two points. All right. So now if your leader lands in the same space as a, uh, another leader, you can move the other leader back one space. Okay. So now, um, all right. So or on here on this track, I believe. So now, um, two leaders cannot occupy the same space on the strength track. Okay. So I believe this is going to be the, 